Hello everyone and welcome to Eschinko's Den. Today we are jumping in and diving straight into the pit. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be some FPS fun. Looking very retro, very throwback, you know, the 90s spirit with these dark sort of FPS games, Quake, Doom, even Blood, you know. I had a lot of fun back then, but yeah, this is looking very cool, so I'm very interested to see. So if you want to see more of these first impressions, definitely the subscribe button, but let's just check it out. Already on my cousin, they call me foolhardy, but you are more reckless than even our grandfather. The pursuit of arcane knowledge is admirable, but this time I fear you have gone too far. Admirable, admirable, more <laughs> admirable, I say. <laughs> it's got a very grimy, grungy feel to it. I knew you were following a rumor through the wastelands. The scent of dark creatures, allowing access to other worlds. But since your last missive, begging me to come here, I've heard nothing. It's not like you, a prolific writer, to become so... Apparently, something, something. Abruptly something. Abruptly silent, probably. So, I promised to find you, and now I am here, at the outskirts of a desolate hamlet, under dark, eldritch skies. What did you discover, Luridia? Are you still alive? And if not, we'll have a trail for me to follow. We shall see, my friend, we shall see. Looking very grim and dark. I like it. When there's a skull against you, Kate, then you're telling people. That's when you're telling people you mean business. You don't just put a skull in front of your gate for nothing. That's all I'm going to say. Ruination is upon us, stranger. A profound evil emanates from the Great Pit. Our beloved Alderman has abandoned us, and most of the villagers have vanished with him. It also appears that an invisible Demogorgon currently curses you too, restricting your powers. The remaining villagers are too scared to do anything. But perhaps the ritual keeper could help. I beg you, go speak with him. His alcove is in the tunnel across the plaza. Oh, right, here we go, here we go. Oh man, I'm 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 gonna be able to use some powers. I'm 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 down with that. I am down with that. I like using powers and doing cool stuff, man. I like it. Merchant! Uh, hello, Outlander. I'm afraid you have caught me at a bad time. Normally, I would be able to offer you valuable exchange services. However, my vault is locked and my inkwells are dry. My business is to serve the villagers in monetary matters, exchanging moats and whatnot. However, most of my normal clients are lost within the pit due to some incident involving the Alderman. There's simply no point in operating my business without clients to provide for. 18 or so return bridges would make it worth my while. Go forth and extricate them. Okay, so I need to go find me some villagers. Oh, the, the graphics look so odd though. It's definitely got this weird vibe to it. Like, yo, it's it's unsettling and I think that's what they're going for. Not even the people are coming out of their homes. Hello, I need to ring bells to talk to them. The Rune Carver. Who is it? The Outlander. Go away. I couldn't help you. My workshop was damaged by the last demonic quake, and I can't fix it myself. Normally I would assist you by constructing ritual runes to empower you within the pit, but with the workshop in disarray, there is nothing I can do. Perhaps if you were to rescue some of my colleagues, we could restart the machines. Look, I cannot move these hunks of masonry myself. Let's get at least one villager, and then we shall see if the artificer station still works. I kind of like it, so you have to like rescue people from the darkness to to do things up here. Hello, hmm, I am the keymaker, and you are? Not so talkative, I see. Well, you don't need to talk to the monsters, do you? And there are plenty of them around in the moment, crawling of the demonic realms of the pit. I am, of course, an expert in the understanding of these demons and their lair, and I can craft powerful runes that serve as keys to access their evil realms. However, with so many villagers lost in the pit, there is little point in running my workshop. Please rescue the fools, and we'll see what we can do. So, you rescue them, do you then, like, allocate them around? Go away, stranger, I'm trying to find my books. Where are they? The damn things. Let some foolish scribes take them into the pit. I cannot upgrade your runes out my books or scribes to consult. 
you want my help, I suggest you leave me alone and go rescue some of my more wayward colleagues. Carry on my wayward colleagues. Okay, into the pit. I... Ooh, the ritual keeper, an outlander. Perhaps you can rescue us from this disaster. I am the custodian of the ritual chamber. It is my job to watch over the pit. It used to be a source of great riches for the village. But now it threatens us all. Oh, task complete. There you go. Nice. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, the alderman and his runesmith have overstepped the mark with forbidden rites. The series of demonic quakes scatter the villagers and an evil storm surrounds us i beg you enter the pit drive back the evil and rescue our companions so okay so i, I see i see there are enough rooms on the shelf of this corridor to perform the basic ritual go be, go beyond me into the ritual chamber and place rooms within the glowing sigil to open the pit once the pit has been opened you may steal yourself and plunge into the depths oh that sounds like i don't know maybe i should just go home and go read a book Watch some Netflix, you know? Okay, fine. When you are within the first altar chamber, look for my image of Scrying Orb and will speak further. Okay, fine. No Netflix for me then. Rune of... Ooh, I, I got me some runes. I don't like this. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this. You people are... are, are, are bringing me into dark places. Mm. Set runes. Uh, 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 we just set rooms within the city below to open the pit. Uh, can you use magic within the village? Uh, okay, so I still need to put this one in. This invocation opened the pit to the Obsidian Fortress. Unexplored village rescues. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do that, man. There's nothing good on Netflix anyway. So we may as well. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know, there were no new seasons of Witcher or Stranger Things out anyway. Uh, how do I attack? Oh, there you go. Yes, Outlander, it is me. Piss I, but this forecasting spell won't last for long. Listen carefully. In each level of the pit, there are four altars you need to activate in order to dive deeper. To activate an altar, you must enter the chambers leading from this room and destroy the keystones hidden within. Activating an altar will also reward you with an orb of power. Absorb it to increase the potency of your abilities. The keystone is probably going to be like skill points, I think, yeah. <laughs> you use like the, the, the orbs as skill points to upgrade like abilities. The keystone chambers also contain healing pools, lost villagers, and treasure in the form of elemental modes. Some modes can trade for runes in the village. Others will help you progress in the pit. We'll give you three orbs of power now. You can select spells to cast from both your hands and enchantments from your armor. Choose your powers wisely. Enter the chambers and destroy the keystones within. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh. Upgrade my powers. Uh, your bleeding, your damage is increased. Uh, okay, let me, let me go for this first. Uh, forest long range, projectiles, forest mid range breaking widespread pattern. Uh, forest bursts of long range projectiles absorb this power into your right hand. Uh, so this is gonna be on my right hand. Maybe for my right hand, I should have like an AOE. Let's do this. And for my left, will be my, my main. Thunder blast, fighting quick bursts, absorb the power into your left hand. Forest mid range, widespread. A long range one, okay. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Uh, okay, choose a destination. I. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go back to the village. Where should I go, though? I don't, I don't know. Can I, like, go anywhere? This is, like, very open. You can choose whatever you want and then kind of progress from there. 
<laughs> wow, he, he, he really exploded, didn't he? Okay, motor for Neil, so that's health. Okay. I keep on hearing sounds behind me. It freaks me out a little bit. I don't like it. I honestly do not like it. A old. Whoa. Oh, that thing. Something was attacking me. And like a fool, I just went on. Full of a took. Now, before I commit. Maybe I should like kill some stuff first. Can I like get you from here? Okay, they said it's long range, but it's not that long. So let me see if I can quickly kill this. <laughs> Unlimited power! Destroy the keystone. Game feels very fluid though. I'm just gonna say that. Really liking the feel. Motor of Renewal. I'm not getting any health back. I'm not sure how it works. I'm not entirely sure what it does. It's nice to get though. Maybe it's like... Um, like XP or later on you can spend it on something or, or spend it on hit points. Oh, you don't take falling damage. Thank the lord, I hate that. That's one of like the, the things that I became so used to while playing Borderlands. Like you fall. I fall from great heights, not caring. So then you play something like Far Cry and you like just drop off something and you immediately die and you're like, oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. You get used to something so fast in the game. <laughs> I did it. Right, we did all of it. We did all of it. Now you have survivor keystone chamber. You may select your reward. If none of your options please you, you have enough modes of renewal. You can summon up a new selection. Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's for that. Okay. Spell upgrades come in different power levels and gathering modes of luck will increase the appearance of higher level options. For this orb, I will have used my bonus to grant you the highest upgrades, but of this, you must rely on your own luck. Now collect your reward. I mean, the remaining altars of this chamber will dive. Dive me deeper in the... Into the pits. Okay, okay. Projectiles from your left hand apply weakness. Ah. Projectiles from your right hand apply bleeding. Oh. Ah, I think I'm gonna add... The bleeding effect. I kind of like dots. They, they they make me feel yummy inside. Oh, you have two options. Like what you want. Okay, okay. So this one is Chamber of Blood. This one is Chamber of Healing. I kind of like the idea of getting healing. Okay, I'm not going back to the village. Not now. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, my left hand increased damage. Right hand life steal. Constant rage. Rage increases your damage for a short time. Ah, I want to go for life steal though. I think life steal is going to be something right up my alley. It's Chamber of Fire, I guess. Chamber of Embers. Okay, I'm really enjoying the game so far. I'm really... Oh, I'm loving that bleeding. There you go. No, my skeletal friend. No, you do not. Ah, oh, look at that bleeding. Motes of fire. Um, 
Let me go this way around and see what we can see. Ah, oh, he came from behind. Do they kind of like appear out of nothing and just come at you? Really liking this, really liking this. Oh, jump pad. I like it. Almost collected. Almost shall be mine. Ah, all of it. All of it. Let's see. Ah, rapid fire mount. Increases rate of fire, life steal chance, increases more. Chance to gain health, you will sometimes replenish health when an enemy dies. I like that. I like survivability in games. It's it's something I work towards. Mm, yeah, let's go for Chamber of Blood. It sounds it sounds grim, it sounds dire. I like it. Oh, there you are. Man, it sounds like it's coming from all over. The sound really freaks me out. They're like suddenly just there. You know what I mean? I'm liking the frantic pace of it, man. Yeah, destroy the keystone. Uh, I'll leave that one for last. Cheat death available. What does that mean? I don't know what it means, but I find it very, very exciting. Man. I hear sounds all over. It gets me, man. It gets me. I get very excited when there are sounds behind me because I feel like... Yeah. We got this. We got this. I'm gonna unlock something special now. So done all the levels. Bleeding damage. Places slicing bolts. Protections from my right hand apply weakness to your enemies, reducing their damage. Oh no, no, I don't want to do that. Let me add some damage reduction. Yes. More survivability. Exit to further depths available. I've deeper into the pit, of course, of course. We can't, we can't like go back now. That is not even an option. Like we, we, we delve, we delve. Oh, hello. Well done, Outlander. You managed to descend the level above. Oh, I managed. No, oh, I, I ascended from above. I, I do that. Now you are familiar with how these chambers work. Be sure to look out for my lost friends. There are a number of villagers hiding within each dungeon. If you can find any chambers of the lost and speak to them, I am sure you will feel safe. That you will feel safe returning to the village. If enough return, you might be able to offer you further help there. That is what I want, man. Is this a chamber of luck? Ah, oh, that's probably gonna be chamber of the lost. Yes. What's that? Chamber of Wealth. Ooh. And this. Embers. Let's try luck first. Maybe I can get like a good upgrade.
And I can hear you guys there. Being all weird like that. Haha, <laughs> nice. Get some of them explodey bits, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, yeah. You guys don't know what you're messing with. Look, just look at my hands. Would you want to mess with someone who looks like this? Man, these hell creatures are always messing with the wrong chaps. The same. I'm just be saying that it's me, your boy, and you wouldn't want to mess with your boy, you know? It's not a great look for you, you know? You wouldn't want to go back to your hell lord and be like, oh man, I was. I was killed with this guy. Oh, did he have like a big weapon? No, he had like two glowy hands. Like, okay. Um, so, an eternity of torture for you because you, you are a very lame demon. And, and we're not looking favorably upon you now. Oh, this guy is special. Look at him. Okay. Like I can hear you. Oh man, that was stupid. I made a mistake. I took some damage. It's all on me, yo. Should have been more careful, but I get reckless, man. I get reckless because I got the power. And you see, I got the closies. And I think I think to myself, like, I can do everything. I can do anything, everything I want because, you know, you got them glowy poles, then you are you're the master. But it is not so. Arrogance beget beget death. Got me all modes. Modes killed me some demons. Uh, first damage. Ooh. Chance to get more health. Oh. Let's go on with the bleeding. I feel like I feel like the bleeding. Yeah, let's uh let's send some boys home. I feel like we owe them. Oh, this is a cool level. <laughs> There's still a little going on. Of course, I'm not hiding. <laughs> it doesn't look like. I'm not in the middle of some important riches, but if you would destroy the keystone, I could return to the village and share my powerful insights. Yeah, let's do it. I want you to go home. Villager, save. I wonder if I go back now, will I be able to come back? Uh, don't explode on death. Increased damage. Uh, increased damage on health is low. I don't like that. I don't want to play on the edge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, increased damage. I like it. I like it. Like, can I go back now and come back? To open a portal, but you must activate all four altars. Uh, Will end your current dungeon and your powers will be removed, but you will keep any loot you have found. Oh crap, I don't wanna. Like, what loot do they mean? Like. I'll restart of new powers, I guess. Guys, always coming at me like this. Uh, 
Uh, just want to get my bearings just just a little bit. Oh, so predictable. Really? Come on. Don't you demons like have, you know? Just like a little bit of kick assery. Like, come on. I know, I know you can pull off more than that. I know you guys are like some. Oh, wow. I, I stepped on top of that trap and it almost got me. It really almost got me. Where are you? Oh, there you are, duh. Jeez, okay. A little bit volatile over there. A wee bit volatile. Uh, right, get all the moats yet. Usually it says at the top if I've collected all my moats. Uh, this chamber is a little bit confusing. Ah, over there. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That came out of nowhere. Getting me from behind like that, man. Okay, almost collected. Now it says it. Okay. This game is a ton of fun. Extra damage. Uh, speed. Slash your enemies. Oh, I like that. Poison. Flicks poison on melee attackers. Uh, I'm going to go for some straight up damage. I wonder if we get like boss fights eventually. That would be very interesting. That would be kind of cool though. Chamber of Embers. Chamber of Renewal. Of the embers. See what we can see. Oh, I got too close to him. You nasty explodey boys, man. See, I'm starting to take some damage because I'm getting very cocky now. Oh, that guy actually had a shield. Oh, that is interesting. That is interesting. Got a big tough boy over here, see? <clears throat> Gotta watch out for them tough boys. They're always out to get you. Still need a fire mode. Oh, almost collected. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Nice. Getting things done. Uh, plant a seed that has chance to explode on this death. Left hand will critically hit if you have not cast. We're done with this place. We can actually go deeper. 
but this is around about the time I'm gonna and I usually finish up my videos. I'm gonna mm, return to the village so we can check out what happens when you uh, when you get like a say one of your villagers. Hmm. Okay, okay, now he's like offering runes at least. Additional health, beginning shooting pit of cheat death ability already charged. Uh, beginning put a small amount of luck emotes. Not available in demo, okay. Not available in demo, oh, there's so many you can't get. Okay, so... so the merchant is unavailable. Rune of Calamity, I like it, I like it. Uh, yeah, it looks like nothing yet. You, you, I guess you still... That, that one guy is available. He's like, hello. I shall give you some... Some runes, for now. But I can't really do anything. It seems that everything is locked. For now. You know the evil logic of these chambers, but no also. There are more twisted dimensions within these depths. Free enough religious and a keymaker will offer you additional runes to access these realms. Once you have obtained two of these keys, we'll upgrade the ritual sigil and the village on our sheet to use your runes in the in combination. This one for ritual opens the pit to domains that are an evil hybrid of two realms with denizens and hazards of bone. Oh that's quite cool. As you have already seen the ritual sigil Let's look at those slots for support units. Once you have conquered two dungeons at the pit, I will open them. Okay, okay, okay. Obsidian Fortress. Okay, and a second key, complete two pit dungeons. Oh, I should have, because I, I finished one of them. I should have, I should have gone. Receive increased damage from all sources, but gain extra mode each time you collect one in the pit. Oh, I, I get, I take more damage. That's not a good one. I don't know. I don't know about that. Starting mode three. Oh, that sounds like a terrible thing, though. I, I don't want to make it more difficult for me. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. But yeah, this is into the pit. I hope you guys so far are liking it. I hope you guys are finding it very interesting. Cause this is really looking like a fun little game. I'm I'm very interested. I'm very interested to see how this goes. Stream of projectiles. Let's see how that gun goes. And I like that. I like that. Shotgun. I had that last time. Oh, that's kind of like what I had on my left hand earlier. Uh, range of speed. An enemy dies while affected there. You can spread to nearby foes. Increases damage boost. Okay. Oh, more damage. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so you can actually inflict damage to yourself. That's, that's quite... Quite hectic to know. No, not what I wanted to do. Oh, what is this one? Chamber of Wealth. I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, this is looking so cool. I'm actually so excited about the game. You can see usually if my videos like goes a bit longer than it should, then I'm really eager to see like what happens next, just around the corner. And <laughs> like what's happening with this one. So I'm quite eager, man. I, I I'm loving the look, the aesthetic. It has this grimy feel to it. It's quite dark. It really reminds me of like for some reason like Quake. Like the first Quake. Like this whole like castles and demons and stuff it definitely has that very very weird feel to it but even like hexen and heretic you know back in the day those were some excellent games <laughs> especially with the magic especially that gives it that whole vibe which is always good getting like a little bit of a throwback always makes me excited so yeah what do you guys think about the game tell me down below and i'm gonna have like a link so you guys can go check it out because I definitely really want you guys to check it out. <laughs> it's really important to me. 
that the devs get all the love and recognition they they deserve oh that guy just walked right in front of mine um i should use my left button less liberally because it hurts me as well you see like this is a good time to use it I <laughs> got stuck in that wall. Like that. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, on this very nostalgic vibe, I'm definitely going to tell you guys to have an excellent day. Like, definitely have the best day you possibly could. Because that's the point of all of it. Just to have an, a great time and enjoy yourselves, man. Play some games. Have some fun. That is what we're here for. Enjoy the fiction. This life is worth having fun for, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely worth just having fun. And just taking care of yourselves and of each other and just having an excellent time. All they are out and about. <laughs> but yeah, definitely extra range. Ooh, speed reduce. Slow smell attackers. Increase the damage of my left. I think that's a good one. More damage. It's always good. It is always good. But definitely, yeah, take care of yourselves, everyone. And I will definitely be seeing you guys again on the next one.